its terror strategy, and that includes, of course, getting themselves a whole lot of insurance cover. How does it all work out, really, when you talk about terror insurance? Ragini Varma will tell us. With corporate India making a beeline for insuring itself against terror, insurers are gearing up to match rising demand in the aftermath of Mumbai terror attack. Apart from 750 crore rupees sanction per location, insurers are also offering a cover of up to 1500 crore rupees to corporates and the sum is reinsured by a foreign insurance agency. We have arranged a reinsurance protection in excess of a certain amount and that protection is available up to 1500 crore rupees. For that, we have taken a reinsurance protection from a reinsurance international market. And that is to the tune of something about, uh, say, around 36 to 40 percent. Sources say top corporates such as Reliance Industries, ONGC, Indian Oil Corporation, power generation firms and fertilizer makers have opted for reinsurance of up to 1,500 crore. And the list is growing with hoteliers, steam makers and many others also waking up. In assessing the risk, geography will start playing a significant role. So we will now find the pricing improving and in keeping with the claim experience and in keeping with the losses that may happen. Sort of, you know. Bombay, yes, certainly is becoming sort of more and more vulnerable and to that extent, the pricing of the risk in Mumbai would certainly carry a different tag compared to the other locations perhaps. General Insurance Corporation manages the common pool for insurance against terror, which comes as an add-on with fire insurance and additional premium of 22 paise per thousand rupees. Terror insurance is what India Inc. is talking about, but as demand rises and the pool gets depleted, experts say the risk premium is also set to rise. A committee is already in place to recommend the extent of the increase in the premium. Watch the space for more. In Mumbai, Ragini Varma for NDTV.